already know we had to come to Zara here. It's so grand. We are in Lisbon. Well, we're actually flying there right now from Mallorca and we're back with another vlog. So if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment, check out my Instagram, my TikTok, my podcast. There's lots of content there as well. And come along with us while we spend a few days here. I'm so excited and I can't wait to show you around. renovating in there. Just checking in. Oh, I'm triggered by the darkness. Where's, we need some light. Why does everyone want to have pitch black rooms? Anyway, we've got TV, desk, couch. Maybe it's the couch. Oh, this is actually quite nice, mum and dad. Two single beds, what the hell? No, no, this is not right. This is, this is incorrect. And of course we have the bathroom, which is nice and big. That's so weird about the bed. What left your toilet? Is there another toilet here? Is there another toilet? <gasps> it is. You can go to the toilet there, dad. What oh, wait. there? You, me, mum, you said you use it. No. It's also got some music playing, elevator music oh, playing. How do we turn that back. off? They've just made my bed. I'm so happy that I'm on a couch that's not lopsided and not single bed. So, slay, we're gonna go get some food now. I'll show you the hotel better when we come back and I'll take you to the roof as well. Portuguese tart shop in Portugal. The line is around the shop. <gasps> it smells so good in here. We just got them takeaway. They're on top of each other. Oh. <laughs> Would we eat it like that? Grab no. one each. You turn it over. Oh my god, it's hot. <gasps> oh my Hold goodness, hang on, wait. 
Cheers. Cheers. So good. That is amazing. Mm. I love the custard. Oh my god. Just a pastry. <laughs> amazing. Mm. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow to get more of those because that was unbelievable. But this is a museum which is not too far from where we just came from. So if you ever go to that shop, it's down there. And then the museum is there. You can buy tickets and go in if you want. We're not going to go in today. But I'm still trying to recover from how good that was. That was delicious. We'll come back tomorrow. We're going to definitely come back tomorrow. <laughs> this is a square. And across the road, this pink building is actually a palace. And there's some guards out the front. We just saw them before. Sorry. The other thing I've noticed about Lisbon is that it's so windy to the point where I'm not sure if the mic is picking me up, but I hope that it is. And now I've lost mum. Dad's gone off that way. I don't know where mum's gone. You already know we had to come to Zara here. I think we've clocked all the Zaras in Europe because everything looks the same now. I will go crazy on our last trip, our last stop, which is Paris, because I can have 30 kilos home. So you best bet I'm gonna be packing that suitcase to the brim. <laughs> We're back at the hotel. We're staying on the main street. Let me show you the entrance, because it's, oh, it's quite fancy. There's a bar there. I'm coming. It's a rooftop pool. How's this? Oh, that's cute. Not bad, not bad. It's way too windy for the water though. We are doing a room service because it's 10 o'clock and we ate so late, but that's okay. They're mum's legs, by the way. <laughs> no feed on the internet for free. Hello, um, it's, it's me again from room 5 out of 10. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, 5 0 <laughs> Not 5 10. Now he's just started playing music. So he could probably hear me. I can hear it. Hi, um, can I please place an order for room 501? Yes, correct. And that's all. Thank you. No worries. We'll see you in half an hour. Bye. That's weird. I feel like the room service is not a part of the hotel. Oh, where'd they put you through to? Because he like confirmed what hotel I was at. That was interesting. Anyway, Odd. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. 47 euros as well, guys. Oh, oh my I'm God. Sure it's like bell. the box that keeps on. You might be right. Oh, the chips. The chips are in a box. Okay, this is kind of cute. With the drinks in these holders. Ooh, all right, I'm I'm not mad. Club sandwich. So my club sandwich is actually pretty good. <laughs> Time for me to say goodnight. I'm just about to brush my teeth. Only how many more sleeps? What's the day? Tuesday. Okay, so it's Tuesday night going into Wednesday morning. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Only four more sleeps without my retainer and four more sleeps till I see Franklin. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Good morning. I just had a shower. I'm getting ready. I've been awake since maybe 6.20. I had a meeting at 7 a.m. Lisbon time and 4 p.m. Melbourne time about Your Safe Space season two. So I'm feeling relief in a way because now I know what's happening with season two, whereas up until this moment, I was kind of in limbo a little bit. And you guys will probably realize that when you listen to the last episode of season one, I don't even give like a clear definitive of when the podcast is coming back. And I still don't know a definitive date, but it's going to be 
amazing and I'm really excited and looking forward to like the next chapter of your safe space because there's some amazing things happening and I'm feeling very blessed and very grateful and a lot of relief <laughs> almost like oh I know what's going on now so it's gonna be okay but yeah I can't wait to tell you guys more I'm sorry to clickbait you I'm not clickbaiting you I'm just giving you an update in real time and today we are going to Sintra so I'm very much looking forward to that and I'm gonna obviously take you guys along and it's our last like full day in Lisbon before we head to Paris tomorrow and then we head home so I can't believe that it's like end of the trip I'm feeling all the feels but let's quickly sort this out and let's go down and see their buffet breakfast I'm ready we're gonna go eat is it giving waiter is it giving server <laughs> I don't know but I do like it I bought the vest in Zara in in my vest era <laughs> all right we're here She wants you to go first. <laughs> they have yogurts, fruits, hams, cheeses. Oh my god, quiche. That looks good. I love a buffet breakfast. <laughs> Everything looks so good. You gonna do some toast? Nice. <gasps> Look, when they have waffles and pancakes. <laughs> Breakfast of champions. Bacon, pancakes and maple syrup. Slaps. Our coffees. We actually packed perfectly. And I have some yogurt and fruit here. Yum. Mm, I made it perfectly. The cutlery is really small. <laughs> it's like... It's tiny. Miniature. <laughs> The pancakes are really good. Even the cup is small. <laughs> the coffee cup is bigger. Good. Yum. just got to Sintra beautiful drive the driver was driving manual and I was like wow girl wow okay I haven't sussed out the ticket situation so I just want to do that we just got our tickets and we are in the line now to go in we're gonna go see the palace and the park and we'll have lunch here and then we'll go back, we'll go back and get some more Portuguese tarts Mm. I'm the CEO of not reading things properly because now we've got this steep ass hill. <laughs> Poor dad. <laughs> We're good. It'll just be <sighs> by the end of this. Ignore me heavy breathing. The walk was not too bad at all. This isn't the main front of it either. I'll show you when we walk around that side. Wow. And check out this. It's up quite high, but look at the view. So beautiful. It's so grand. And now I've lost my parents. Oh, there's mum. Can't enter the palace until 1.30, so it's 12.30ish right now. So we're just in the cafe, we're gonna get some food and have a little sit down, kill some time and then go in. I'm excited. Just in the line. Lunch haul, it actually isn't that expensive. I thought it would be more because we're in here, but we got two chicken sandwiches. They're quite big, so mum and I will share one. We also got some more tarts. I'll show you them in a second, but mum and I got this lemonade. Cheers. Cheers. Delicious. We're literally sitting on the ground, but this no, is so rock. good. There's little tarts. They look interesting. They're cheese and cinnamon. Here we for it. Bite, Joe, the cross section. Should we have that first or at the end? Oh. All right, let's try it. <laughs> Mum, you go first. It's cold. The crunch is the same. Mm. All right. They're dense. Not bad. Eight out of ten. The yeah, crunch is seven, there, but seven ish to me. I fully can't see what I'm doing because it's so very. I don't want that. Maybe a seven out of ten. Hope you can see that. This is so good.
we are leaving Sintra. If you ever happen to come to Portugal, definitely do a day trip here because it's really cute. We're going back to Lisbon now. Round two. We're at this place because I got told this is better than the other place. So we're gonna see. The key is to add a little bit of cinnamon. Cheers. That's icing sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I have to say that that place was a bit better experience in the sense that there wasn't a really lengthy queue. You could sit down in there and have it and actually watch them making it as well, which I thought was super sweet. And I think they actually do taste better than the ones we had yesterday. So I will put both of the places on the screen so that you guys can see where to go if you happen to come here. I've also had some of you tell me that the ones from Costco are really good. Or there's a place in Sydney in Petersham that's called Sweet Belem that's also really good. But I'm going to have to find a place in Melbourne that does them because I didn't really rate Portuguese tarts. I'm not even a custard girl, but I've fallen in love with them here. We're in Brandy Melville, which is cool because we don't have this, I don't think, in Melbourne. Yeah, even these, Mum. These are really cute. Yeah. They're cargoes. I like them a lot. And now we are going to find Dad and head home. We didn't buy anything. I'm making them walk back to the hotel, soaking in all the Portugal vibes. Oh, yeah. Guys, I just fell over. My hand's bleeding. That's funny, but look, it's coming up. I feel like I've got gravel in there, but whatever. That's actually so funny. I literally ate shit. And I said to my mum, it is so funny, but also so grateful. I did not have a camera or phone in my right hand, and that's why I was able to stop myself. Otherwise, it would have fallen on my face. And if I had the camera or phone in my hand, I probably wouldn't have tried to stop it with this hand because I don't want to break my phone or my camera. Anyway, I think I've got gravel pieces in this. I'm going to wait till it stops hurting and then try to dig them out because that was yucky. I am now going to chill for a little bit. It's been a long day, but so good. I feel like today was a really nice like last full day of exploring. And I'm just trying to toss up what I'm doing with like Paris and traveling back. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's chill before we head to dinner. Just like that, my chill time is over. We're going out for dins. I don't know why I'm carrying this around because it's dead. I also washed this. I've also scheduled the get ready with me. I've scheduled the Italy vlog and I've scheduled the Mallorca vlog. So lots of work has been done this afternoon, which I'm happy about. Hopefully we can find a nice dinner for our last night here. Fingers crossed, it's always a risk. I've noticed that any of the restaurants really close to hotels haven't always been the best. Some TikTok recommendations haven't been the best. Sometimes they've been amazing. It's a bit of a gamble, but my personal technique is to go and look and see what restaurants are like hustling, bustling, and then quickly check the reviews and check the most recent ones. That's the plan, but let's head off. There are stairs in Positano, stairs in Dubrovnik, Lots of stairs in Lisbon. I didn't realize how many were on the way to dinner and poor dad. <laughs> Far out. We love a dinner queue. We're in line for dinner. But apparently this place is really good, so it's worth it. That's a place. This is cute, we're in the garden. Because these are the only tables they had. We didn't have a booking, but I don't care. I think this is going to be well worth that wait, and I'm excited. Yum. We got cheese balls and calamari. Our mains have arrived. Dig in, guys. All right, we just left dinner. Uh, I gotta be real with you guys. I would say that re restaurant is not one of my recommendations. The mozzarella balls were the best, but everything else was not very. Uh, Mum. <laughs> It's not very nice and I thought it was like just bad ordering but both mum and I both had terrible pastas. Dad is really overhyping his, it wasn't that nice. <laughs> I just hand picked out some gravel. We don't have any antibacterial stuff aside from hand sanitizer so I'm about to hand sanitize it for the second time. I need like betadine or something like that. 
Anyway, it's bedtime. I don't know if you can hear mom or dad snoring, but I'm going to say goodnight and I'll see you tomorrow. Can't believe we're leaving. We're going to Paris, baby, and I can't wait. Good morning. We have to check out, so I'm going to get ready, pack, and then we'll go have breakfast. That's the plan. This is the vibe today. Don't know if I love it, but it is what it is. Dad's been carrying around my makeup for me, so I needed to get my lip gloss out. I need to put on uh, jewelry, I think. Yes. Ready, let's go and get some food. I need to come back and finish sorting out some of my belongings. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going straight to the pancakes because they were really good. Yum. <gasps> I'm definitely going to get one of those as well. Bacon on your pancakes, so much better. I did maple syrup, I stole the bit of the decoration berries. I'm gonna try these today. Yum! We're literally the only ones in here. It's because it's early. <laughs> Everyone else is sleeping in. All right, let's try this one first. They really do love the pastries and desserts here, which I'm a sweet tooth, so. I'm definitely coming back. Yum. That's Nutella. I bit into that so weirdly because I didn't want to get pastry on my lip gloss. <laughs> I don't think these would be as good as yesterday, but. They're still good. I wish I could go back to the shop and buy more and take them to Australia. I'm so happy because our next flight after the one today can be 30 kilos. So I don't have to worry about the separation of my things and putting stuff in mum's bag or my bag. And I'm going to go shopping when we get to Paris. Does everyone have their passports? Yes. Let's get out of here. Portugal. We got here quite early because I really didn't want to miss this flight to Paris considering we're flying home from Paris but the line is so long. It like loops all the way around. I swear Air France has one person working so we're all trying to drop our bags but anyway we should be all right. Crisis averted. Okay we're in the wrong line. <laughs> we're in the line for KLM not Air France. I knew Air France wouldn't do us dirty like that. That's why you always ask a certain someone. No, no, you can just figure it out, follow the signs, if you read them properly, which I didn't. Bags have been dropped. Going to the gate. I'm at the security. Again, they made me take off my shoes. And the guy just wanted me to raw dog the floor. He's like, just take them off. I said, no, I need a bag. I'm not touching the airport floor with my feet. And then he gave me the hairnet. Coolest thing just happened. We made it through security and then went to duty free. And oh, Carla's ringing me. I'll call her back. And two girls came up to me. They were from Canada and they followed me on TikTok and they said hello and they were so sweet. And their names were Hannah and Karen. And I don't know if they watch my YouTube, but thank you for saying hello. And it was a real pinch me moment because obviously traveling around, I've met so many of you. And it's usually Aussies that I meet, but it always takes me by surprise when I meet someone from across the other side of the world. And what are the chances? They're from Canada, I'm from Australia, and we're in Lisbon Airport at the exact same time. Mind blowing, I have goosebumps. Anyway, that was a really nice experience. I am now gonna get some food. There's McDonald's, I nearly fell over. McDonald's in here, Starbucks, and some other things. So, not sure what I'm feeling, but let's go take a look. Carla just FaceTimed me and I want to cry. I can't believe I'm going to see Franklin so soon, but I'm at Starbies. I'm going to get something. I don't know what I'm feeling like yet. I'll decide when I get to the start of the queue. The line is long. I'm outside the shop. I'm going to give you a taste test. 
I will read you the order in a second because I copied someone's that I saw on Instagram. I'm excited. Okay, I got a brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso with two pumps of brown sugar syrup. And let's see. Oh. That's good. Oh. Dad, you want to try? I don't reckon he'll like it because he has three sugars in his coffee. Because it's got one sugar? It's got some brown sugar in it. That's not bad. That's like a cold espresso. Oh, he likes it. It's, sh it's shaken. I missed air friends. Yay. Okay, I've decided I'm going to wrap the Lisbon vlog right here, right now. I'm a little bit sad because I feel like we definitely should have stayed a little bit longer here and it wasn't really enough time for us to see everything that we wanted to see. I will definitely be coming back because I want to go to Lagos next and I also want to explore some of the other beach areas closer to Lisbon, but that'll be on my next trip's agenda. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I will see you guys next. I'm not sure if we're back to usual scheduling or where I'm at on the channel, but I appreciate your support and I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Be safe, subscribe if you haven't, leave me a comment and like this video. Love you so much. Bye.